What's up y'all? Welcome back. I know it has been forever, but first of all, Happy New Year. It is 2021 and I am so excited. Um, I had to start the year off with a YouTube video. I have been getting a ton of messages and asking me if I had one. I'm like, yeah, but I haven't done any videos lately. But here we are. And today I'm going to be showing you this easy, quick look. It's literally three looks and that's it, or three shadows, I should say, and that's it. Um, but anyways, make sure you guys subscribe, like the video, if you, of course, wanna see more videos like this, and also make sure if you have any questions as far as the makeup look, anything that I may not have included within this video, let me know in the comments. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So we are up close and personal so you guys can see all of the good stuff with making this easy eyeshadow look. I'm of course going to tell you guys what brushes to use, all that good stuff, and of course check out the description box because I'll give you guys all the deets. So let's go ahead and get started and I'm of course going to be using the amazing, uh, this palette is so freaking good, Pat McGrath palette. Definitely my top three palettes of all the palettes that I have and that's saying a lot because I have, number one, a ton of palettes, but also just I play with a lot of different colors, pigments, um, all that kind of jazz within eyeshadow palettes, and this one by far exceeds a lot of them. Um, so with that, I'm gonna go ahead and get started, and I'm of course going to give you a little bit more details about the brushes, tell you guys which ones to look for, which ones to use that you already have, and all that good stuff as well. So the first color we're gonna start with is this gorgeous brown color right here. So this is going to be my transition color. So transition color essentially is the color you're going to start with no matter what whenever you're doing your eyeshadow. It's going to be the lightest color that you use. It's also basically going to set the tone for your makeup, um, specifically your eyeshadow. So I'm actually gonna look this way so that you guys can sort of see me, what I'm doing. And, oh, I almost forgot, you need one of these bad boys. So with, before you do eyeshadow, I've already done it, but before you do your eyeshadow, you definitely wanna do either an eyelid primer, and this one's by Morphe, this is literally the best thing ever. I think it's like maybe seven bucks. I might be wrong. If I'm wrong, I'm correcting myself right here. <laughs> but this one, I use 99% of all the times I do my eyeshadow. But another great one, is this P. Louise base. It's like magic in a little bitty container. Um, this basically is going to make all of your eyeshadows pigmented. Think of it as like something that can bring out color, but bring out the truest color that it is. Um, and this P. Louise, ba P. Louise base does that. Now, definitely have to use one of these, or you can even use concealer. Any concealer that you have, you're gonna put on your eye, blend it, and then you're good to go. So anyways, without all of that, um, I just wanna make sure you guys knew exactly what to use. Make sure you do that first, and then it doesn't usually take long to dry. Like I do this eye, this eye, and I can immediately start with this one. But anyways, I'm gonna be starting with this brush here. This is the Morphe in Jaclyn Hill. It is the JH32. Let me show you guys what it looks like. And this brush is definitely become a go-to. I have another transition brush that I use, but this one is something that I would consider easy. Um, you can, of course, do a lot of different like blending techniques with it, but this is gonna be your transition brush. So, what I like to do is just dip in and always use a light hand. You never wanna use like anything like pressure because that's going to push color and it's gonna make very, very hard to basically blend, and we don't want that. So, I'm gonna go ahead and I usually like close my eye and I do this whole like back and forth windshield wiper motion. And whenever I'm doing this, I keep it in the same spot because you don't want it all up here just yet because it's going, it's going to eventually get there. But what you wanna do is just blend back and forth motions. We're gonna start easy and then y'all, by the end of 2021, y'all are all going to be like your own little makeup artist, so. Go ahead and claim that. So I'm gonna stop really quick just so you can see, like it's not like fully blended, but when you start, y'all, this was gonna look like. So don't worry because you have to take your time. I know a lot of times you may see like this look and you're like, dang, that looks great, which it does, but it definitely takes time. So no worries, take your time and you're just gonna keep going back and forth motions 
And I typically like to start with a little bit of color. So never dip your brush and have it like soaked, quote unquote, in the eyeshadow because all that's going to do is apply too much and then it's going to be even more work for you to get it where you want it. So I wanna keep doing this. This typically, now if I'm not like talking of course and stuff like I am, this will take me like a minute to do. But I want you guys to really see just like Taking your time, being patient, making sure the color is going where you want it to go is the most important aspect of when you're doing your eyeshadow. Don't be in a rush because whenever you're taking your time, you know exactly where it's going. When you start to rush, it almost makes it everywhere and then it's almost like you have to take more time to fix. And we ain't got time for that. So, um, I, I'm going to come right back, show you guys what it looks like after a couple more um swipey swipes and then we'll move on to the next color as you guys can see i am all blended and ready to go i'm looking down just so you guys can see exactly what it looks like but with that being said just start with a little bit of eyeshadow and then just build your way up now the next brush we're going to use i can't even see it but i'm pretty sure i know it by heart um this is the r39 brush this brush right here as you guys can see it has been through a lot and I say that in a joking way because it has so many like different colors on it, but literally it's like one of the best brushes ever. Um, I've had this brush for about, I don't know, like three years and it's just great. So I'm also, let me show you guys, I'm going into this color next. It's like a darker brown. So we started here with this light color and now we're here. So always start light and then go dark. Um, and then I like to do this. So I do this a lot because I like to tap off the excess. You don't want too much excess on the brush because typically what will happen, it will actually just get all over your hard earned makeup that you just did on your face. So we don't have time for that. And we don't want that either. So what I'm actually gonna do is instead of this motion, I'm gonna show you my little trick. So I actually will take the brush and I'm gonna look here again just so you guys can see exactly what it's gonna look like. And I close my eyes and I place, place the brush right here. Once it's here, I do small like windshield wiper motions. I'm going to move the brush so you guys can see exactly what it looks like. Like, and that's not even like I'm barely doing anything. The reason I do that is because I'm placing the color exactly where I want it. So that once I start to blend this into my crease, this is going to be the color that really is going to stick out, but it's also going to make a gradient effect with the transition color we started with. So again, I'm here, start here, small windshield wiper motions back and forth. And then once you have it exactly where you want it, you're going to drag it all the way here. So basically you're doing the exact motion, except for instead of holding your brush like this, you're going to be holding your baby like this and then just hold it. And again, you may notice, like, I might seem like I'm going, like, really fast, which might be I am. Um, but whenever you're starting to do this, start slow. You don't want to go too fast because you don't want the color to basically blend with this one up here. Because basically, you will just have one color, and that's not what we want. So also, you'll notice I'll take the brush again, and I'll just do this number just to make sure it's connecting with the color and also just making sure it's blended out where my eyebrow stops. And then again, same motion, we're gonna go back and forth like so. And again, this is the Morphe R39 brush. And as you guys can see, like it's like a completely different look. Like it's, it's blended, it's blending. Now don't judge this because we're not done yet. But I just want you to see exactly how the motion is. Now, once I get to the end, I'll turn it, instead of doing this, I'll turn it and then go here, just to make sure I'm getting in the inner corner portion of my eye, making sure that's all well blended and exactly where I want it to go. So if I look straight ahead, you can still see both colors. So you can see the transition color and now you can start to see the darker color that I just added. Now, with that being said, what I like to do, and of course you're not going to see this in some videos just because it's like going back and forth, the color that I just used, I'll tap back into it and go and make sure it's blended at the top. 
So sometimes you'll notice like when you're doing your eyeshadow, you might be like, girl, what happened to that color I just used? All you have to do, oh, I'm sorry, and this is a Morphe, actually no, it's a MAC, MAC 221. This is a MAC 221. It's great for like a cut, uh, cutting the crease, but I like to use it to make sure the color that I started with is still there and also well blended. So I just go back and I'm barely, y'all when I say I'm barely touching, like I'm not pushing, don't push, because if you push it's gonna almost make your colors look muddy. You just wanna barely, very lightly go back and forth and you can do small circular motions or you can do this number here. Either one will work. But now if you look, you can see it's just like really well blended. All my colors are together, but it's also just very distinctive and where I started, where we're going, and we ain't done yet. But now that you guys can see, I'm gonna look down again just so you guys can see what it looks like. That's where you wanna start. Now I'm also going to darken this just a little bit, come back and then we'll move on to the next color. All right, so looking straight ahead, you're going to notice, of course, this one, We've got our eyeshadow, we are blended, we're ready for the next color. This one, of course, has nothing. And I did that on purpose because I want you guys to see exactly the power of your eyeshadow, how you can really like lift your eye. Like y'all can do so much with your eyeshadow, I swear. But I'm going to go ahead and do this eye, come back so we can start on the fun stuff, which is the glitter and the shimmer. So I went ahead and did one eye with the fun glitter shimmer. And I'm actually using the Lip Bar Girl Next Door, this baby right here. If y'all have not tried this, go to Target right now, grab it, it is bomb. But I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to create this look really quick and easy, but we're also gonna be using an eyeshadow brush. So let's get into this eye. All right, so I'm going to look straight ahead, show you guys exactly how to do this super easy glitter cut crease. Um, so what I like to do is take it and I'll close my eye and do it just a little bit here along the lower lash line. So once I've done that, I'll sort of look up. And <laughs> whenever I look up, you can actually see it actually creates a line. Therefore, you're gonna know exactly where to put your eyeshadow. So now, all you're gonna do is take this, and instead of putting it right where the line is, I'm gonna do it a little bit below, because we're actually going to use our brush to make sure it's straight and that it looks good. All right, so now I'm gonna use the MAC 242. This brush, super, super must buy. So now, you're just gonna take it like this, and sorry if y'all can't see, I wanna make sure I'm looking straight. And what you'll notice is with your brush, it just makes it super easy. You could of course use the spoolie, but because I wanna make sure it's like a really straight line, I'll use my MAC 242 to do the job. So now, I'm gonna go over it one more time and take your time whenever you're doing this. You do not wanna rush because if you get too low, that's a quick fix, but if you go too high mm, with glitter, it's a little bit harder to fix. But, as you guys can see, we are all cut and ready to go. All right, so now that we have both of our eyes good, glittered, shimmered up, it is now time to finish up this look. This is a must whenever I'm doing any eyeshadow look. I always blend out the edges of any shimmer glitter that I have. But the trick is just using the color that you've already used within your eyeshadow and it'll look seamless. It's very easy um, and it's just a great tip. So we're going to use this color here. And I am using, which brush is this? This is the Morphe M433. It's a little bit more of a dense brush, but basically all you're gonna do, take it, tap off the excess. And whenever I'm doing this, I will tap on the color first. Because this is glitter, I don't want it all over my face, so I'll tap first, making sure I'm getting exactly where I need to, and then I'll do this here. And that's just going to blend out your edges of 
any eyeshadow that you do tap first place it exactly where you want and then just blend it little small motions back and forth until you get exactly how dark you want it if you want it to be smokier you can actually use a black eyeshadow instead of a brown one that'll just sort of like smoke it out um but yeah this is my favorite thing to do whenever i am finishing up my eyeshadow so i'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye come back and then finish up and any questions that you'll have just be sure to let me know all right so i am back with the finished look if you guys want to know what lip whatever i use just let me know and i'll definitely let you guys know what it is because it's probably one of my favorite nude lips but anyways thank you guys so much for joining me on today's look if you guys have a look or a technique or whatever that you guys want to learn how to do, drop it in the comments below. I'll be sure to read them and make sure I add it to my upcoming videos. But thank you guys so much. Hope you guys have a wonderful day and see you guys very soon.